up everyone? Welcome back to the Build Studio. I'm Chris and in today's video, I'm finally going to bring you a full review of Concepts 3D's Athena 12K Resin 3D Printer. Now I've been testing this out and putting it through its paces for a little over a month now and it has promised to be one of the game-changing resin 3D printers out there. But before we dive into the printer itself, let's talk about something up front. Like many of you, I was a part of the Kickstarter campaign for this product. And I have to say, the delays were, for less of a better word, a bit frustrating. Which I guess can be expected when it does come to Kickstarters. And also because I did opt for the upgraded 12K video board. Now, shipment dates kept on slipping and for a while, it felt like we'd never get our hands on this machine. But now that it's finally here, I'll let you know if it was worth the wait. Okay, so before we dive back into the review, I just want to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, Sunlu. Now, if you're into 3D printing like me, you know the importance of high quality materials. Whether you're printing with filament or resin, Sunlu's got you covered. They offer an incredible range of materials from high quality PLA, ABS, and TPU filaments, all the way to top tier resin that delivers detailed durable prints every single time. Now I've been using Sunlu's materials for many of my projects, and for this review, I'm using their newest photopolymer resin, and the results speak for themselves. Their products have great smooth finishes, great detail, and reliable performance no matter what you're working on. So if you're ready to elevate your prints, whether it's filament or resin, you should definitely check out Sunlu. If you're in the market for more filament or resin, be sure to use my link in the description section below for a great deal on high quality materials. Anyways, back to the video. Okay, so like most 3D printers, this printer came packaged very neatly and very protected in a big giant box. And I gotta say, upon unboxing this thing, this printer was heavier than I had expected. Anyways, here's a quick time lapse of the whole unboxing experience. So like I had mentioned previously, this printer is super heavy. So my recommendation when unboxing this is to turn the box on its side and slide the printer out like I'm doing in this video. In addition to that, this resin 3D printer is also packaged very well with most of the accessories, the components and the parts in the printer itself underneath the shroud. Now it was at this point that I really started to appreciate the build quality and the durability of this printer. What's nice is that the acrylic door does stay in place no matter what angle you open it at, thanks to its preloaded hinges. Now when it comes to parts and accessories, you can pretty much expect what you typically get from most 3D printers. You do also get this heat probe, which does magnetically install behind the back plate itself. Now initially, Athena 3D did say they would redesign this probe, however it does look exactly the same as what it looked like in their launch videos. And then of course there is this magnetic PTC heater which is used to keep the print chamber at an optimal temperature so that your prints turn out nicely. Now one thing to note is that I did have to pay extra for this and it does not come standard with the printer itself. But what's nice about this is that it's magnetic so you can connect it pretty much anywhere inside the chamber itself so that it is out of the way. And then of course there is the build tray itself which is made of the same durable material that most of the printer and the resin tray are made of. Now one thing that I noticed after recording this video is that the resin tray itself has these little feet that not only help to ensure that the tray is aligned when installing it in the printer, but it also makes sure that the membrane never really touches any surface that the tray is sitting on. So that is a nice feature that I did not get to mention in this video. Okay, so like I mentioned previously, we have been testing this 3D printer out for the last couple of months. Now one thing to note though, after waiting so long for the machine, it had a lot to live up to, and I'm happy to report that it delivers in terms of build quality. First up, 
let's talk about the 10.1 inch monochrome LCD display. Now this is one of the areas where this Athena 12K 3D printer really shines. Thanks to this monochrome screen, exposure times are significantly faster compared to older model resin 3D printers. After using this for almost two months, I've seen how much this impacts productivity. It means faster prints with less wear and tear on the screen itself. Now when it comes to print volume, you've got 219 by 128 by 245 millimeters of space to work with, which is a good balance for medium sized projects. Whether I was printing intricate models or more functional pieces, the results were consistent with little need for post-processing. As you can see, the machine is super solid and just looks really nice. Now a big plus for me is the Z-axis. The dual linear guides really add to the stability of this printer. Now if you're someone who's worried about wobble or layer shifting on taller prints, this feature has got you covered. It pretty much keeps everything precise and aligned. Honestly, even after months of use, I'm still impressed with how steady this machine stays throughout the long print sessions. In addition to that, this machine also does come with a lot of smart features, like the Smart Force sensor. It's also got this peel release technology, it's got crash detection, and even resin level sensing, just to name a few, which all help to prevent failures. Now in theory, these features should take a lot of stress out of your printing process, and after a few prints, I started really to rely on these features. And with that said, I know during the Kickstarter campaign, they did have a lot of issues dialing a lot of these technologies in, but I'm glad they were able to fix it and they all work great. Now, when it comes to the user interface on this Athena 3D printer, it is definitely intuitive and straightforward thanks to the five inch IPS touchscreen on the front of this 3D printer. The touch controls are super responsive and navigating through different settings is a breeze. The software runs on a custom Linux OS with Nano DLP and Clipper firmware, which means it's highly customizable. In my opinion, now that the 3D printer is here, the machine feels very polished and very complete. Now, connectivity on this printer is fantastic, with options for USB, Ethernet, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi. You can slice and print models using popular programs like Lychee or Nano Support and sending files to the printer is seamless. This is one of those quality of life features that makes the day-to-day -day printing experience so much smoother. Now when it comes to the light source on this 3D printer, it is no joke. The 160 watt COB UV light source paired with the Fresno lens provides even light distribution across the entire print area. This means no dark spots and the exposure times are impressively short. In fact, I found it to be consistent even with complex prints. At this point, it feels like Concepts 3D put a lot of thought into each component, which is amazing. Now, let's talk about something that everyone cares about, print quality. This Athena 3D printer with the 12K board does deliver on its promise of high resolution prints. And after two months of testing it, I've had very few failures and a lot of amazing prints. Whether you're making detailed models or functional parts, the precision here is top notch. And I also haven't heard many complaints about the 8K version of this printer either. Now, after two months of use, my overall verdict is that this Concepts 3D Athena 12K or even the 8K resin 3D printer is an excellent machine that delivers professional level print quality in a mid-size package. Now, for a mid-size package, it is very heavy, and that is because of the excellent build quality. The smart features and precision components really set it apart, and the build quality, again, is simply amazing. At 44 pounds, this printer is built to last. And while the Kickstarter delays did leave a lot of us frustrated, if you've definitely got the money and want a well-built, high-quality machine, this Athena 12K or 8K is a solid investment. If you've been considering this machine, know that it lives up to its promises. With that in mind, that is my very quick review of the Concepts 3D Athena 12K resin 3D printer. Now, if you found this helpful or if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. This is definitely not gonna be the last time that you're gonna see me using this printer in one of my videos. So make sure you do also check back for all my new projects. 
Make sure you also don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more in-depth reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.